it's uh it's uh been a while but by the time you're seeing this i probably have already uploaded a video about all that uh garbage so uh yeah uh we have a pretty big announcement today we finally got a release date for the new data live game i'm going to be venting in this video about some stuff because boy do we need it i uh i wanted to show something off today sword of the day is white tenta zangetsu from bleach you guys have probably already seen bleach maybe hopefully bleach is a great show uh, that's that's the sort of the, of the day i'm not gonna do this every time i do a, a video but if i ever I like a face I, I can't speak if i've ever had face cam i'll i'll show off a sword so uh yeah that's the sort of the day channel or a viewer in the past like i would say two or three years you would know i'm a big fan of data live we stand origami here we stand already disappointed in what uh was the ending of the show uh, it left out a lot of content from the uh, source material. I'm pretty sure it ended... It's ended somewhere, I think, like two arcs before it was actually supposed to end. Uh, and it left me and uh, Elisa... Like, I have a friend that I usually talk to about all this stuff. We were flabbergasted about the whole thing, bro. I thought it was incredibly stupid. But a lot of people found it still to be great. And I loved the series so much, and it kind of, and granted it was at the end still, but it kind of killed it for me. Just not a whole bunch, but it kind of killed it for me. So, Kimara, what does this have to do with Ren Dystopia? Well, like Ren Dystopia, there are games that continue after certain parts of Data Live and continue the story, uh, in a sense. Um, so basically, at first I think it was a real reincarnation, at least that whole branch of games. There was uh, Rain Dystopia, the RSU uh, install, and then Rio Reincarnation, finally. And those took place after Data Live Season 1, then Season 2, and I think that was it. It was only just Season 2. But Rain Dystopia takes place after Season 3, as we have characters like Natsumi, uh, Origami and her spirit form, finally, in the game. And, uh, yeah, that's... I think it's uh, it's perfect, especially since we're going to, uh, like, uncharted territory. Uh, with a new character, a new original character in the Data Live universe, you know. Uh, I kind of hope they have the movie original character, uh, what was her name? Uh, Myri. I hope we have her in here. I think it would be a really cool, like, Easter egg or something like, you you get to see her, like, once or something like that. Or it would be a really cool ending and stuff like that. But other than that, I, I really hope that we have a lot of good content in this new game. so long. Just tell us the release date. Fine. It's September 5th, 2024. That's this year. And technically, that's in like a couple of weeks. We're going to be on that. Bro, when I tell you, it's going to be, I won't say daily uploads because y'all know how my schedule is. All right. We've talked about this already. But what I will say is that like I did before, I'm going to probably stockpile, upload it to uh, like something, Twitch or something like that, for example. And then bang, that's it. That's it. We're done uploading it all on YouTube, privating it. And then I'm going to like uh, schedule it for to be like one day and then a the day after that. And then, yeah, basically all that. And then, then we're going to be on our stuff. Because I promise you, I'm a big Data Live fan, bro. Like, I gotta, I gotta stay on my Data Live stuff. See where we are, at least in the book uh, continuity. Like, basically where the show is and all that. Uh, the newest book was Volume 12, and it's the Itsuka disaster. And uh, that's going to take place before uh, the events of this game. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go ahead and read ahead of that, figure some stuff like that out, and... Uh, Catch up, there you go. Or you could just watch Data Live, uh, season one through three. Uh, also watch the movie. I think I don't like. I said I don't know if everything in the movie is gonna be in that, but I'm pretty sure the movie took place after season two, if I'm not mistaken. So you're not gonna be missing a whole bunch, but you're also not gonna be completely in the dark if something does come up and we don't know about. Patience for the game. Uh, well, it's gonna be a visual novel, so there, you really can't say much. Uh, without it being, well, a standard visual novel, at least. Older uh, game original characters. Uh, I recently went back and watched the show again, like, all the way through. And um, I think it was Reen. She was in the season three opening, but not for long. It was literally just, like, a one frame. Like, one frame of her. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was thoroughly shocked. Because I was like, why would you put her in the trailer and not use her at all in the show? It's just kind of like a, a Easter egg, I guess. But, I mean... Hey, I hope we see the return of Reen, uh, Rio, the Arasus. I mean, the Arasus are technically canon in the show as well. We have Maria. Uh, if you don't know, she is the ship 
Uh, there's no spoilers, I'm not going to lie, because that's that's where we are currently. Uh, the ship is has an AI, we all know this, and the uh, nickname is Maria. That's basically it. Uh, sorry if I did spoil for any of y'all, I'm so sorry, uh, who haven't watched it or anything like that. But yeah, that's basically what it is, and then the games and stuff like that. Uh, I do recommend playing them. Uh, they probably are on sale on basically anything, um, except for, like, Xbox. I know it's available on PlayStation. You might be able to get it, like, on a physical copy on the Switch, and you can also play it on Steam. I know that for sure. So, I'm pretty sure it's not that expensive, though. I mean, every time I, or, maybe, yeah, every time I got it, it was, like, maybe $10 or discounted. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's a lot, it's, it is pretty time-consuming if you want to get every single ending, uh, if you want to see me play through the game, uh, there's no uh, commentary, but go through my channel and see, I have a whole playlist, just a real reincarnation. Watch that through, I promise, because that's that's technically the, how I blew up. Oh, I didn't even blow up, but that's that's how I got most of my subscribers and views and stuff like that. Holding on lighter, and I have class in f five hours, so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, song of the day is... Family Matters, not Drake. We're not listening to Drake. We don't support We don't support Diddy in this establishment. You already know the deal. Uh, yeah, Song of the Day, Family Matters. Go listen to it. Uh, anything by Dave Blunts. Family Matters by Dave Blunts. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.